Hello, welcome to Fun A, Fun and Learning with Adam. We are now at lesson 5 of our Intro to Algebra series. Today's topic is division, and we'll be touching on reciprocals, fractions, and inverse fractions. Before we proceed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, if you haven't subscribed yet. Now we ask, what is division? We were taught that division is the process of splitting a number, or an amount, into equal parts, and then measuring or counting the size of one part. The size or value of that one part is the answer to division, which we know is called quotient. Simplest application that we're most familiar with is dividing a pizza. Let's use this example, 6 divided by 2. Our pizza with 6 slices, divided into 2 equal parts or groups. Here we see that each group has 3 slices, or 3 units. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. From this example, we see that dividing by 2, is the same as multiplying by 1 half. In algebra, we rarely write the division symbol with a short horizontal line with one dot above and below. Instead, we use a fraction bar, either horizontal or slanted. Looking at another example, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. We see here, that dividing 12 by 3, is the same as 12 multiplied by 1 third. From both examples, we see that dividing a number, by a second number, is the same as multiplying the first number, by the reciprocal of the second number. The first example is 6 divided by 2, and we showed that it is the same as 6 multiplied by 1 half. 1 half is the reciprocal of 2. From the second example, 12 divided by 3 is the same as 12 multiplied by the reciprocal of 3, which is 1 third. 3 and 1 third are said to be reciprocal to each other, meaning their product equals 1. 1 third is the reciprocal of 3, and 3 is the reciprocal of 1 third. Any pair of numbers, whose product is 1, are called, each other's reciprocal. Take note, that 0 has no reciprocal. There is no number that can be multiplied by 0 that will give a product of 1. Looking at this example again, 3 can also be expressed as 3 over 1, which tells us, that getting the reciprocal of a fraction, only means turning over or inverting the numbers. Inverting a fraction, means turning over the fraction, by switching the numerator and the denominator. This then creates a new fraction, that is called its inverse. Any pair of inverse fractions, are each other's reciprocals. Multiplying a pair of inverse fractions together, let's use our example. 2 fifths multiplied by its inverse, 5 halves, we get 10 over 10. The product's numerator and denominator, are equal, and so we know the product is 1. This just proves the fact that a pair of inverse fractions are each other's reciprocals. Now, let's go over the rule for dividing by a fraction. The rule says, invert and multiply. Remember that a fraction's reciprocal is its inverse. So, dividing by a fraction means multiplying by the fraction's inverse. This rule saves us from trying to understand dividing by fractions in terms of splitting something up and counting. Let's look at a simple example, 6 divided by 2 thirds. Following the rule, invert and multiply, we get the inverse of 2 thirds and multiply with 6. That then means, 6 times 3 halves. 3 halves is the inverse of 2 thirds. 6 times 3 halves is equal to 18 halves. Here is another example, 5 divided by 3 quarters. Applying the rule again, we multiply 5 by the inverse of 3 quarters, which is 4 thirds. So, 5 times 4 thirds, gives us 20 thirds. You got it, right? The last topic we have for this video, are the rules for division on signed numbers. Since dividing by a number, is multiplying by its reciprocal, we need to make sure we know the reciprocal of negative numbers as well. We know, that any pair of numbers, whose product is 1, are reciprocals of each other. So for any negative number, its reciprocal must be negative, in order for the pair of reciprocals to get a product of 1. A negative fraction's reciprocal, is its inverse, also with a negative sign. Remember that, the same sign rules that apply for multiplication, also apply for division. Like signs give a positive answer, unlike signs give a negative answer. Positive divided by positive, and negative divided by negative, 
give a positive quotient. Positive divided by negative, and negative divided by positive, give a negative quotient. That should be it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, and see you next time for a chapter on expressions and variables. Please don't forget to hit the like button, and click subscribe if you haven't yet.